something scary, right? To go down together. Yes, we go down together. <laughs> So we are here in Charlotte uh, in the USA and uh, we're here with Stuart Haas uh, with, with the NASCARs and got to drive some, uh, some really cool cars. I had you know, a, a little run with, with Chase. He uh, knew what he was doing. I couldn't really hear them because it's so loud in there, but they all seemed to have a really good time whenever we got done. So what do you guys think? Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 pushing. I mean, I was, I was running pretty hard. I mean, there was, I was probably 90%, right. I would say. When you're sitting next, like when you're a passenger, it feels so crazy. You'll be my passenger? Oh, good. <laughs> Sounds promising, right? <laughs> Sounds very confident. I want to have a go. harder getting into one of these than uh, F1. <laughs> Kevin, how do you fit in that thing? Not at all. <laughs> I was surprised about how much grip it had. I mean, as a passenger, always it, it feels a bit weird. But yeah, definitely he was he was going for it, and uh, we, had, we had good fun. Kind of gave me an impression of uh, how it might be to drive it myself. I just went flat around the banking because I saw you do it. I was like, it is possible. You freaking drove it in on the back straightaway chicane the first couple times. Yeah. I couldn't believe how hard you drove it in. I missed the chicane like three out of four times. <laughs> It was a lot of fun, you know, having Mick as a passenger and driving as a passenger with, with Mick. It's just so cool, you know, it's, uh, it's a little scary, but it's, it's fun. As a passenger, you feel so vulnerable and, you know, out of control, so it feels a lot faster when you're a passenger, you know, it's... It feels way scarier than when you're driving yourself. <laughs> Obviously, you're, you're always a bit uncomfortable as a passenger, uh, but you know, I wasn't scared or anything. Um, you know, we're, we're having fun, so that's, that's what matters. It's such an iconic race car. You know, the sound when you're, when you're in here, in the speedway, it's so recognizable, you know. It's, this is where, you know, NASCAR belongs, and this is like the home of, of NASCAR. I first got to go as a passenger, next to Chase uh, Briscoe. Just him showing us, uh, you know, the, the marks and reference points in, in this NASCAR. It's so different to, to what we're used to. I don't know if he got the full-blown experience, but he seemed to be having an awesome time. He was laughing when we came in. It was wild. They don't stop. <laughs> they gotta feel so slow, though, for you. No, it doesn't. Really? It feels really fast. It's crazy. And? It's fast, mate. Yeah? Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not slow at all. It was pretty cool to, to see his reaction to it all. It's good fun. Yeah? yeah. It's, it's so scary sitting, sitting as a passenger. I gotta just think, this guy knows what he's doing. This guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> he had it all under control. <laughs> NASCAR, it's a different animal to a Formula 1 car. You know, that's what we're used to. When you drive an S-car as a Formula 1 driver, it's like you've never driven a race car before, you know, it's completely uh, different and it's a lot heavier, it hasn't got any downforce, brakes aren't really made for braking. <laughs> they definitely don't stop good, I think that's the biggest thing that, that Kevin and Mick both were just blown away at is how bad the braking was. I was kind of telling them where they should start braking, they thought I was messing with them because it was so far back from the corner. The braking um, potential in that one car is just so, so great. You know, we go from one extreme to the other. Like normally, I would brake at that three sign. Okay. Or like, just past it. Don't even touch the clutch other than take it off. And then the biggest thing on downshifts, like, be aggressive with the blimp. Like, really aggressive. They're better than us. Yeah. <laughs> Everything you know is uh, out of the window, and it's, it's a lot of fun. You gotta relearn everything again, and it's. It's like driving a race car for the first time, it's, it's awesome. I 
I think uh, it was a little surprising to me, but at the end of the day, a racing driver is a racing driver. <laughs> They're just doing it on purpose. <laughs> It's been one of the coolest days I've ever been a part of. I mean, seeing these guys, I mean, Mick and Kevin, I mean, they were just ready to go. I mean, there was no easing into it. They were going balls to the wall, I mean, first lap. So it was uh, really cool to see it. It was uh, the first time for me to actually be on an oval and drive myself. Obviously still a bit shy at times, just getting used to it and getting, getting to know it more. Yeah, Mick, the steering wheel can go on in any direction. Oh, okay. Is that right? The steering wheel is so close. Yeah. Mick definitely went for it. He was driving in way harder than I ever anticipated him to drive it in. It was cool. I mean, both of those guys, him and Kevin both, are just so good. I wasn't trying to push extremely. I was just having fun trying it out and uh, seeing seeing what it's all about. You know, this type of racetrack is totally different than anything that Nick's ever seen, and even the race car was totally different than anything he'd ever set in. So it was cool to be able to to be the guy that gave him that experience. How was it? Fun. <laughs> so loud when you get up yeah. to the wall. Yeah, it's loud. That's what my ears are gone, but it's fine. Mick was blown away at how loud it was when you ran close to the wall because the exhaust was coming out the right side. He was sitting on the right side. And then just the banking, they couldn't believe how much grip the car had on the banking. I know Mick said when he drove it, he was a little nervous on the banking his first couple laps. But yeah, I think it was cool for them to experience that. I'm surprised about how much grip it had in the oval. Yeah, when you're sitting next to it, it feels like so much grip. Do you have any big moments? You ever get it sideways or anything? Yeah, that's something too. <laughs> I'm used to sitting on the left side, yeah. but now sitting on the right side, going back down that way, uh, you know, he came so close to the walls, so I was like, <laughs> damn, like, we're for sure gonna touch it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say the biggest difference is just the uh, road course racing with the big bankings in the corners. Uh, they don't really have that in the Formula One Grand Prix, so uh, it's cool to see the reaction when they get in the corners and see how the car feels kind of sideways and tipped over. You can feel the balance is, is very good and, and on the banking. That's what they're made for, you know, that's where they really come into their right element. Having so much grip in the ovals, uh, that's really where the car can shine at the end. It's amazing how much grip there is on the banking, you know, that's compared to the grip you have in all those little twisty corners. When you get on the banking, it's, uh, it's very nice. Me and Cole were talking about just how it's pretty mind-blowing how these guys can just get in this thing that's totally different than anything they've ever driven before and can be you know, relatively on pace. I think they were only three or four seconds off and they only ran two or three laps. Every F1 driver is a world-class driver on a road course, so they adapted extremely fast. They know how to get everything out of the braking zones. So it was impressive. I mean, they were, they were wide open lap one for sure. We were kind of blown away, I think, both of us, about just how good they were. And, uh, I think if they ever wanted to come try, they'd definitely be competitive. To be able to do these things and just go and, and have fun in a NASCAR, you know, you don't, you don't get to do that every day. I hope they come back and do it again. I'd love to see him do a race. It'd be cool to see him come try it. And uh, I would love to see him try an oval just to see how much different it is. <laughs> I just love driving, you know. I, I, it makes me happy. So a day like this is, uh, is what I live for, you know. It's, uh, it's awesome and to get a chance to drive uh, such an iconic race car as, as a NASCAR, it's, um, it's an awesome opportunity. On a track like this, it was uh, a real experience. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to do a few more um, and uh, I'd be happy to take Kevin on board for a few more laps as well, see if I can scare him in any way. <laughs>